uh, Fred Fox, uh, manager of supporter relations for the Terry Fox Foundation, but more importantly, Terry's older brother. Terry was uh, your typical Canadian teenager. He loved to play sports, obviously. That was his passion, but, uh, you know, he, he loved, loved to have fun, always competing, always um, working as hard as he could. Uh, school wasn't easy, so he had to work a little bit harder than, than his peers, but, uh, yeah, it was no different than anything else. Um, we competed, played sports against each other, golfed, uh, whatever we could get our hands uh, on. There's a fo football in our hand or a soccer ball at our foot. We had a river that we inner tube down, so we were always active. You know, I don't think Terry would ever have thought himself as being a legend, but uh, if, if uh, make, being a legend is somebody who's left a long legacy and a legacy that has made a difference in other people's lives, uh, I guess that's what a legend is. Terry has impacted so many Canadians across this country and impacted cancer research and uh, you know, change people's lives who have been diagnosed with cancer. We call it the Terry Fox Run only because that's what Terry did. He ran. He, would, he never wanted anybody to say that he was run, walking across Canada, he was running across Canada. But it doesn't say that when people participate, they, can't, uh, they, sh they should be out there to par participate walking, running, bicycling, rollerblading, whatever. It's about being there for somebody else. Not no, only Terry, but being there for somebody that you know that's been touched by cancer. And that... Uh, you know, that keeps the legacy alive. Uh, anybody can participate, um, make a donation of whatever size you can do, but, uh, you know, continuing Terry's legacy and his dream will one day um, see, you know, maybe a cure come for cancer. You know, obviously this year is the 35th anniversary, so that may definitely have some impact. And we always see a bit of growth on anniversary years, but I think it's Terry. It's uh, Terry's honesty, integrity, how the foundation operates, and, and the amount of money that they're able to put back to cancer research. So I think, think even still people are learning about that and, and knowing that. But um, there's so many young people. I mean, it's been 35 years. There's young people involved. People uh, young and old now have been impacted by cancer, and uh, you know to be able to come back and participate in Terry Fox Run is uh, keeping the legacy alive and, and growing it for sure. We are pretty lean and mean and uh, that's what it's all about. Uh, 84 cents of every dollar going uh, back to fund research. Uh, Terry wanted all, as much money as possible to go to cancer research so you know to prepare we don't pay a lot spend a lot of money on advertising or promotion or media stuff we hope that that's donated and that's what Terry would wanted so uh, that happens uh, we get stuff donated all the time I'm flying and, and I stay places because uh, things are donated after the run um, the offices are busy tax receding and doing all that kind of stuff. You know, Terry, Terry, it was so important for him to know, even by his efforts, that uh, it was going to make a difference. And we, we know by the efforts of our offices, but, but mainly volunteers and supporters and uh, participants that uh, they are making a difference.